All right, this video is for me and my use only because I figure stuff out and then I forget it. The purpose of this video, future self, is to remind you how to set up this mixer so you can have multi-channel inputs going into a stereo output to USB 1.2 for streaming purposes. Why? Because when the mixer is plugged into the computer in 2x2 two two mode, even in 18x18 18 18 mode, the, the system audio, which does no, not use OSI, the ASIO, it can only see USB 1.2 for both send and return. So um, you've got to get your routing set up correctly which means this doesn't matter. I've, you got it working both ways, but just to keep things simple, put it in two by two mode. Great, now go into your routing and this is the key. Your sends, and the logic here is the mixer is sending audio to the computer, almost as if it's a old school RCA cable. Think of it that way. I think all these actually should be set like this channel to post fader because that's going to let you run the aggressive compression and the high passing that you're going to probably want for an audio stri for online streaming. Because we found, remember when we used Zoom in particular, there was a lot of audio processing on their end because they're optimizing for voice, not for audio. <coughs> and um, the audio stream becomes very dynamic based on the amount of sound level hitting that stream. Even FaceTime will back off the volume considerably. It's, it's very dynamic and horrible for music. So because of that, how dynamic the compression and limiting is on their end, we want to hopefully do that on our end so we can control that. That's why we want to be post fader. We're going to commandeer one and two because the computer can only see one and two as a microphone input. We're going to go ahead and make one our left to our right. And I'm going to do that post fader as well so I can have control over how hot my signal is with uh, this fader right here. This is all the routing that needs done. Everything here stays one to one. The USB returns. Um, I, I think this is primarily for 18 channel mode. It is worth noting, though, that the aux is coming. Oh, yeah, these are returns. See, this is where it gets confusing. The return is actually from the computer. And this is good that the aux on the mixer is set to left, right, one, two. We'll get to that in a second. The sends we already covered. The main outs, this is a little counterintuitive. You would think the main out would have to be set for one, two, and it might work, but I keep it main left, right, because then I, I know that I'm getting monitoring through the headphones. May, would it still work this way? Possibly, but then my monitoring would probably be coming through the aux. So let's look at that aux, because I've mentioned it twice. The aux is where we will get the signal from the computer this is where we will hear the participants in our streaming. So how do we set that up? Uh, we set it up so the, um, the return, again, counterintuitive, this is actually what's coming to us from the computer, is USB. And then if I play a video or something, that'll fire up. That'll light up. It's not right now because I have the system audio turned off for this screen recording. Otherwise, I'd probably get a little bit of an echo. Okay, and then let's look at our individual channels. Our individual channels are really just normal. Uh, and then, you know, let me back off on that just to show that all of our effects 
are being engaged with um, being engaged because we have everything set up post fader and now we can just murder the signal with compression uh, particularly the bass. I think we're doing the bass 10 to 1 to really control that signal and high passing the bass at something crazy like 140. All right. Uh, so I think that's it. So again, the logic beam, 10,000 foot view to be redundant because my future self will still not get this. Everything has to go to one, two. Everything, everything already goes to the main. Everything is getting assigned to the main by default. So we have to have make that main, that, that signal collection point, for lack of a better analogy, has to go to USB one, two, because that's all our system will see. We have to make sure the aux, or some, sh the aux is set up to accept system audio. Why are we picking aux? Because the routing for the aux is already rare and to go. The return, which it says return here, it says input here, but basically what's coming to us from the computer is already set up on channel one, two. So we might as well just use that. Uh, and there's the meters just to see that uh, that's the signal we're getting. And I do think that's it. The only thing I'm not totally sure at is do I lose one and two as an input, as an analog input for this setup. So uh, what the hell? Let's give that a try and see. No, I'm not going to do that. You can figure that out later. My legs totally fall asleep. All right, I hope that's enough, you future forgetful person.